क्लास ट्वेल्व लेट एस कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर टैंजन नॉर्मल एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन दिस सम नंबर इज थर्टी फोर फाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल टू द पैराबोला वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एक्स एट थ्री टी स्क्वेर सिक्सटीन फाइंड हिंस फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल टू द पैराबोला विच मेक्स एन एंगल वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री विथ द पॉजिटिव डिरेक्शन वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री With the positive direction of x-axis. Okay. Now, at first, y squared equal to twelve x is given from here. Find. Let us find two y dy dx is equal to twelve. Okay. So what we will get? Dy dx is equal to twelve by two y. So it is coming six by y. Six by y. Now dy dx at three t square. Now dy dx at three t square six t. What we will get? Ah, uh, six by sixty. So it's coming one by three. Okay. Now equation of the normal at this point is therefore equation of the normal. Equation of the normal at three t square sixty to this curve. What we will write? Y minus y one means sixty is equal to. M into x minus x one means three t square, and m means divide dx we have got one by t, so minus dx dy will be minus t only, minus t only. Okay, now do this calculation part. We will get y minus six t equals to minus t x plus three t q. Okay, so it is coming y plus t x y plus t x is equal to three t q plus six t three t q plus six t that will be the answer y plus t x is equal to three t q plus six t. Okay. Now the second part. What is given the second part? Normal makes an angle one thirty five degree with the positive direction of x axis. Then gradient of the normal will be what? Normal makes an angle one thirty five degree. This is the second part of this sum. Normal makes an angle one thirty five degree. Then gradient will be what? Then gradient of the normal will be tan one thirty five degree. Tan one thirty five degree means what? Tan one eighty minus uh, One thirty-five degree can be written as one eighty minus forty-five degree. So one eighty minus forty-five degree means minus odd number change, even number no change. So it will be tan forty-five degree, and one eighty means uh, uh, second quadrant. Then again, okay. Then in the second or second quadrant, we know all sign sign positive and is negative, so it is minus tan forty-five degree. So it will be minus one. Okay. Now according to the problem. According to the problem, this gradient of the normal we have got already minus one, and here gradient of the normal already we have got as minus t. Then can we write minus t equals to minus one? Then t is equal to one. Okay. Then equation of the normal is what? Therefore, equation of the normal when t is equal to one, what we will write? Y plus one into x is equal to three into one cube plus six into one. So it is coming three plus six, and here y plus x. So we can write y plus x is equal to nine. This is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. Next sum number thirty six. Sum number thirty six. Let me write the question. Ah, uh, let me explain the question first. Okay, sum number thirty six. Find the length of the normal 
cot of the parabola y square equal to 4x y square equal to 4x drawn at 1, 2. Find the length of the normal chord. Normal chord means what? Normal chord of the parabola. Normal chord of the parabola. That is given. Okay. <clears throat> parabola. Let us draw with this. Focus. Okay, this is the tangent actually. Let us draw the tangent. This is the tangent. So it is the tangent, then this point, point of contact, and this is the normal. This is the tangent, this is the point of contact, so this is the normal. Okay? And normal chord is there, so chord should. Chord means what? The part of the straight line inside the curve. That means this part. This is the chord. Okay? This is the chord actually. Normal chord is this. Okay, and find the length of the normal chord of the parabola y square equal to 4x drawn at 1, 2. Drawn at 1, 2. So, this point of contact is 1, 2. Point of contact is 1, 2. Okay, let us write the equation here written. So, let us find 2. Just divide x is equal to 4. So, this coming divide x is equal to 4 by 2 y, which gives us uh, 2 by y, which gives us 2 by y. Okay, therefore divide dx at the point 1, 2. Divide dx at the point 1, 2. So it's coming 2 by 2, which gives us only 1. Then equation of the normal at the point 1, 2 means what? Therefore, equation of the normal at 1, 2 is what? Y minus y1 equals to m into x minus that was when x minus x1 means is and m means here again divide dx at 1 2 is 1 so minus divide dx dy at 1 2 will be minus 1 minus 1 by 1 that gives us only minus 1 okay so let us write y minus 2 is equal to minus x plus 1 so it's coming y plus x minus 2 minus 1 so or we can write this as y plus x is equal to 3. Or we can write this x is equal to minus y plus 3. Or we can write 3 minus y. Better to write x is equal to 3 minus y. Now putting the value of x equal to 3 minus y in the given equation of parabola. What we will get? x is equal to 3 minus y. This already we have got. Put the value of x is equal to 3 minus y in the given equation. Then what we will get? Then y square is equal to 4 into 3 minus y. 4 into 3 minus y. So it's coming 12 minus 4y and it is coming y square. From there, so it is coming y square plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0. Okay. Let's do the factorization. What we will get as a factor, it will be y minus 2 into y plus 6 is equal to 0. So from there, we will get y is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 6. So when y is equal to 2, so when y is equal to 2, therefore x is equal to 3 minus 2. So it is coming 1. And when y is equal to minus 6, then x is equal to 3 minus of minus 6. So it is coming uh, 9. So x is equal to 9 then. Okay. Therefore, therefore, what then? What are the two points? Two points 1, 2. Therefore, points are x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. And x is equal to 9, y is equal to minus 6. Okay. These are the two points at which normal intersects the parabola. Now, these are the two points. Already, we have got 1.12 here. 
this is the point of contact where the tangent uh, drawn and at this point this is the normal so one two this is one point and we have to find the length of the uh, normal chord that is the length of the normal which intersects this parabola that is the only chord so this point now we have got as nine minus six okay so what we have to find the length of this part Length of this part means distance between these two points. 1, 2 and 9 minus 6. Got it? So, length of the normal chord will be there. Will be, therefore, length of the normal chord. Length of the normal chord means distance between these two points. So, square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square that we know. So, it's coming 9 minus 1 whole square. Plus minus 6 minus 2 whole square. So 9 minus 1 means 8 square and minus 6 minus 8 is again 8 square. So it's coming uh, 64 plus 64. 60, uh, 64 8 square plus 8 square 2 into 8 square. Or we can write 64 plus 64 or we can just better to write 2 into 8 square. So 1 8 square we can take outside the bracket. So, it will be 8 root 2 directly. We can write this as 8 root 2. This is the answer. 8 root 2 unit. This will be the answer. Okay. So, this was the last sum for today. Thank you.